कृपया ध्यान दीजिए द लैंग्वेज यूज ऑन द पॉडकास्ट मे नॉट बी फिट फॉर कंजम्पन वी वॉन्ट यू ट्रेड केयरफुली बट लिसन यार डोंट बी सो कंजर्वेटिव Welcome to Cyrus says brought to you by Jupiter a banking app that helps you master your money no less and I'll just quickly point out at the top of the show this is the big boom boomer energy t-shirt if you want me in it it'll cost you less money uh, but if you just want the shirt it's a little more expensive details will be brought to you by Abbas in a second but first I want to rant on two things quickly one is I can't spend so much money on protein supplements and BCCAs and all so I'm looking for a sponsor I can't do this anymore online there are too many people cheating us there's a, a website called Vibhav something or the other which scammed our money and disappeared the details will be put in a link later please be careful if you hear the word vibhav run although that's the building that kunal lives in kunal will not be mentioned again in the show because kajal is on it um second rant more importantly as a social scientist as a person who studies humanity and i have done that since 71 the bangladesh war i must say that i know what is wrong with urban indian males now the reason why we become such sissies is because you wash your hands too much now granted that this pandemic caused people to get into this washing hands situation but i think the washing hands you just give a negative uh, introduction to the body from the beginning where you say ki i'm worried i'm fragile I'm scared. So let's save water and not wash so many hands. Wash your hands once a week. I think would be enough. Maybe twice or thrice if you're really fastidious, but not more than that, folks. This is my message to urban men to pick themselves up and fight the good fight. In the meantime, while I adjust this camera for the whole show, it'll be going up and down like this, <laughs> just to create a visual effect and make people happy. We'll introduce Kajal. Welcome back. What a lovely house I can see in the background that you've rented for the day just for the show. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's messy. I know it's messy, Simon. So just trying. I it's well. like the pot calling the kettle. Well, I don't. I let's say darkish. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, I don't know what the right thing is. And of course, we've got two men who look like boys. Two men suddenly had hair issues. <laughs> the group is here, but you know, the youth is gone. And this is what we've got. Of course, my reference will go over the head of a lot of people. A boy, two men died about twenty years ago. Not maybe even twenty-five. Uh, still very years much around. Ago. But but you know uh, the the boys part is gone completely, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even want to see boys anymore. Obviously, I would I would love to see a reference somewhere along the show of what they look like in 2022. Uh, I just you know? saw them. Like I think they did a uh, tribute concert to somebody who died recently, or tribute like at somebody's uh, memorial ceremony or something like that. Fairly recently, I just saw them recently, or at least I just saw a video yeah. of them recently. Boys, boys to, to men in a world where a lot of people are transitioning from uh, men to women oh. you know i mean they're really behind in terms of uh, political consciousness so to speak uh, kajal all good between you and me i got a little telling off offline in the beginning yes cyrus yes i was sh- sh- shall we start that again or shall we let it die <laughs> no I, i just want to without mentioning names and all that i want to just quickly say that my intent was quite noble i thought in the sense that i i thought you know you put your hand up and said that this thing is attractive i was a pig and I, I don't. Amit, I don't want to get into the. So let, you know, me, the, the let me let me just clarify that. I said I wanted to have lunch with a certain individual for the lunch. He's got so a nice body. Why, why are we? Women are always more polite. Not naming the huh. person. Everybody knows who we're talking about. Let's call him Raju. <laughs> sure. It's always a safe name. <laughs> so Raju. <laughs> but then, but then, thanks to your bungling. Uh, I had people, I had people tagging me. I had people tagging me on his timeline saying, "Kunal, why do you not want Lord Raksha? What is wrong with her?" <laughs> what was the question? I have never back. felt so desperate ever. Ka- Kajal, just just give me just rewind a bit here. You're saying my bungling. What have I done? Once we opened the the thing, uh, you had a phone number, he had a phone number, and then it's between y'all. Now you, I'm like a car salesman. I've sold the car. Now you can't come back to me. Cyrus, uh, this is all your doing. I just want to leave that there. This is all you're doing. This is bad wingmanship. <laughs> Do you okay. want me to no request really? Rishi <laughs> and Vinay to find the old links where you put your hand up and said this guy is interesting? I said no. Yes. I always abuse him. You can check. My record is flawless. <laughs> okay, let let it let it go, Cyrus. Let it go. But uh, I will never again. Okay, for the last time, I'm on your side. If I find I'm on your side, your there's no bungling. Exactly. There's only uh, one villain here. Can you please understand? Sometimes you got to call a spade a shovel. It's him. <laughs> Now, whatever his issues are, and trust me, his issues are not very clear. It's not. I don't know. I think he's just. He's a very introverted guy. Let's be honest about him. He's a li- lovely man, protected by my family, but he is very introverted uh, by nature. He's a shy man. So he's not 
I think the forwardness took him or caught him off guard. I can't think can of I, anything can else. Can I say as a as another shy man, texting was made for shy men so that they can uh, um, they can take yeah, the conversation he, forward. Fair enough. I get your point, but 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 the uh, the initial thrust, uh, sorry to use the word, <laughs> came from Kajal. So I think you know I don't know how it is. Uh, I mean, help me here. Was, is it, is it sexism to say this? I want to have lunch. Okay, it was about the lunch side. This. Uh, yeah, you yeah, made it into. It's a food thing. You're right. It sounded like no, a food it's thing. not, yeah, guys. No, it's not. He initially said that I like this guy. He's cute. I like his personality. We had a conversation on that. He's privy to all that. So that's a, you, you set a premise which is not like you know. Okay, it's uh, uh, Vishwanathan Anand. I love him as a chess player. I would love to be you know have lunch with him. It's not that. It's, it's him as that. a package. No, Baba. No, but that's what you say. lead with. No, hey, Vishy, I want to play chess with you. When oh, can Abbas I make my up. move? Abbas, shut up. <laughs> Shall I start from your personal life? Okay. Oh my God, no. Casual knows way too much. And when you talk chess, please spell pawn P A W N. Okay, I don't want yes. any confusion later. Yeah. Actually, right. it was all about prawns. Okay, Cyrus. Let me just put it that way. I want prawns with Kunal Vijay. But that was it. Well, well, Kunal has been called a shrimp here and there. So yeah, fair enough. Uh, anyway. Uh, what let us leave it at this now uh, the 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 point is sort of past i think you've lost interest because now one's bitten <laughs> twice shy so there's no point me calling him up and telling him to try and rectify no. the issue anyway so i've just no. kept quiet and i also got a lecture from the wife who was like why are you interfering with kunal's love and my daughter i mean they talk to me like i'm five <laughs> how why are you interfering? because they just heard one side they haven't seen the podcast one side of the thing is like we are making fun of kunal and getting some girl to tease him it's nothing like that so i don't know whether he thinks honestly that we were setting him up for a disastrous bakra like situation which gives me oh, a great idea oh your reputation yeah is that what the problem is? no we've done that before i have done that before i'm guilty i accept that what? we have set him up here and there with wrong people <laughs> we've had uh, famous i've got models to call him up and all that pretend to like him and all we've done all that yeah <laughs> especially when we were drinking but you oh do that God. when you're young but you how do you pass time you know been between cricket matches It's not easy. Can we have um, Tarun Kaushik's comment off the screen, please? Wait, I have that access. <laughs> Come on, Abbas, let's hear your story. There, I don't know. The Kajol knows a bunch of stories. I don't know which one she was referring to. I know a lot of stories. I know all Abbas's stories. <laughs> <laughs> Abbas, you know, whenever we have a, a free period during this, during the stories of death and destruction. Let's do a new podcast called Rand- <laughs> Rendezvous with Abbas because there's a lot of secrets <laughs> there. You know. Which I got here and there no from secrets. the fact that his living conditions are different today than they were, let's say, six months ago. But I'm not allowed to speak about that because <laughs> it's not open. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, that's right. This is the most coded podcast ever. When you put ever. it that way, yeah, I'm still on most... Raju. She's gone on with Kunal, but I'm still saying Raju. You know, I'm not taking any chances. Yeah. Uh. Um, Go on. Let's leave all of that behind, Cyrus, and talk about uh, the wonderful T-shirt that you're wearing. And as you say, wonderful T-shirt, <laughs> disco station, disco, oh, disco station, disco, oh. How do you like that? Do my own it's special effects, t-shirt. my own stunts, wear my own yes. bras. That's what I say. Yeah, it's a wonderful. By the way, guys, uh, I don't want to toot our own horn, but everywhere we've gone, the Kripaya Dhyan DJ, the big boomer yes, energy, the which doggy one. You can one, see on the on the screen. No, which I've is got also a lot available. of available. Yeah. It's got a lot of attention. So if you uh, if you're introverted, Abbas, maybe it's not for you. But uh, honestly, a lot of people. A lot of well, that's people, a good thing if it's getting a lot of attention because yeah, uh, no, you does, can also get this attention yeah. by going it's, to the IBM okay, website. There are two reasons. Let me not lie. One is they are clean shirts. No one's used to yeah. seeing me in a clean yeah, shirt. Exactly, shirt. untorn yeah. shirt. So that's one. The untorn shirt. And uh, so the, the the first thing is they look twice and say, "Wow, it's a clean shirt. What happened?" And then mm. I explain to them it's all called marketing, bro. And I explain, <laughs> <laughs> explain sales and marketing to them, and they are suitably impressed. Yeah. yeah. But I must say, a couple uh, of watchmen, in fact, two of them together at CNBC, actually stopped me and said, "Boss, na achya kameez hai" and all that, which was actually a point like you know, like you really dress badly, and today you have it. It was like a, <laughs> I got it. It was like a little pat on the shoulder, but in a in a mean way. Yeah. So all thanks so to you this. So you can also get these shirts from the IBM website. Go to the shop tab on the t- top, oh, and it'll Tarun redirect Kaushik you to the. Tarun Kaushik, audio people wondering what's going on. Amit, you've been very yes. uh, we serious are, we about this. We are plugging point. the T-shirts. We have, yeah, I mean, like we're talking about the different T-shirt designs. I'm sure audio people can. I don't feel like we've been. We can uh, make T-shirt that. sounds. <laughs> I led into it by saying, "Hey, uh, Cyrus, it's a wonderful T-shirt that you're wearing." Yes. So, and then you said the you said the phrase or whatever the catchphrase that we put on. Yeah. By yes. the way, we had two or three more from the last episode, and I've forgotten them already. I told you write them down. One came from a list of ones. Yeah. Us. Uh, yeah. Bekar yeah. nahi wo. Uh, what was Navin gave one? Uh, hmm. Bimar nahi wo bekar hai for silvery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> write them down. By the way, now that you bring it up, where is the golden hoard of silvery? 
Uh, he told me oh, he's yeah. got fever. At least that was the oh. presumption on his leave application. Day three of fever means it's yeah, a serious case. Yeah, that's a little, a little skeptical. Uh, well, yeah, I'd expect a hospitalization <laughs> by today. <laughs> what, what do you want me to say here? By the way, uh, Cyrus, I also got my booster shot yesterday. Actually, he's really? had fever since Saturday. Five so days of fever. Then it's a serious. Yeah, like, that's that is serious, serious. I mean, then or, it's fifty-fifty, bro. Already. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. Is no one worried? He'll, he'll oh, be wait, in the wait. chat tomorrow. He's in the chats for the evening shows, but not for the morning ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's because fever. No, Danya, you're being mean. Yeah, fever yeah. is always more in the day than the night. People know yes. that as a fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, he does recover by six thirty-seven. Oh no, seven oh one. Once we're done with I, our shows. Yeah. I, I think I, Arik, much. She has a point. Can you just <laughs> put it out for the fans? I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> You know, things are just kind of <laughs> with this, this Sidhu Muswala thing and the, all the deaths in American schools and stuff like that. I mean, I'm uh, this is not really a. It's a little scary because we don't know what's happening in the world. And Silvery is missing. He's uh, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there that we don't know what's going yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Silvery, please, if there's a problem, if you've been kidnapped, send us a message, a sign, something, <laughs> so that we know. You know, I mean, we're going to do nothing about it because last time I tried to do something <laughs> with Raju and Kajal that went nowhere. So I don't want to get involved. But. <laughs> 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 My record speaks for itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave it there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now we let's start our official topic? show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Of course. Which is again, we have Amit. Uh, Today we have Amit. So we have one respectable, responsible person. Due respect, Kajal. But you become us. <laughs> you started well, but now you, you're just another clown. So we're all clowns here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This will be a far less chaotic show than yesterday's. No, I, I have a, th- uh, a theory, which is that if you like watching people throwing pies on their faces, it's a lovely act for about 30 seconds, one minute. Imagine seeing that for a feature film for three hours. And that's what can happen sometimes. He's just hitting the pie on the face, hitting the pie on the face. I thought that else was happened. a Mona Lisa reference. Who was guy. on yesterday? Uh, Ooh, Mona Lisa. And, uh, uh, okay. Well, yes, was very... Vedita. That was a very nice episode. I mean, I don't listen to it. It was a good episode. Yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. chaotic. I, ha- I, was, I was trying my best to hold the reins together. You did, you did a very good job. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Uh, but the first piece of news again is a la- rather sad one. Uh, day before yesterday, we spoke about the death of uh, Sidhya Musewala and uh, another big icon of uh, the Indian music scene passed away just last night, which is KK. And uh, very shocking because just mere, I think, hours before he passed away, he was performing in, in Kolkata. Calcutta. And uh, right after uh, he finished the, the, the concert, he fell ill and he was taken to the hospital. And uh, the hospital said he was brought in dead. So I, I, I believe it's uh, assumed that it was a massive cardiac arrest that he suffered. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, as soon as the news came out, I've been seeing a lot of uh, people of my generation and even younger generations giving See. a lot of dedications. Can I give my two bits here for a second before we get into KK per se? Uh, yes. 88 to 90% of what happens to you is, is a blueprint from your genetics. This is something people have to take more seriously. We worry too much about smoking, drinking, running, jumping, fat, thin. That uh, plays a part, but it's a much more limited part. We have to accept that. KK was pretty fit. I've worked with him a lot and I've known him since mm-hmm. 1996. Mm-hmm. We're almost the same age. He was very fit. He was not an extreme lifestyle personality, you know, where things go out of control. Uh, I'm not saying he was a saint, but he was pretty fit for his age. He worked tirelessly. He was physically very very robust in that sense. And, uh, you know, he was in demand for the last, he's had a career that's rocking for 20 years, especially live events. So would not think that he's in the category for just dropping dead like that. But it just tells you how important genetics are and why we should look back at our three lines of grandparents and great-grandparents downwards to see what's coming. That honestly seems to be the biggest problem rather than people saying, quit smoking or you'll die. Not that you should smoke. I'm just saying they put too much, set too much store in these things when it's really, you have to look at what's going on in your family. Like for example, my family is neuropathy. So you've got to look at that. But if you look at it, what can you do about it? Like, isn't it just depressive? No, No, but at an earlier age, you try to stall it, uh, Kajal. I mean, you can't just give up, can you? (laughs) <laughs> what do you do if it's a genetic condition can you really stall it so the propensity well, so, is yeah go on go yeah on. that's exactly it it's not fate right I mean like at the point that you discover that your family has a propensity for diabetes or you discover your family has a propensity for neuropathy right there are things you can do right I mean like so for example in the case of diabetes you basically control your diet much earlier in life in the exactly. case of neuropathy right you know there are studies which talk about uh, single person puzzles being really really good to make sure that you're pushing Alzheimer's down the road you're pushing uh, dementia down dementia the road dementia down the road the, the, Look, there are things like that so I mean like you the have earlier to manage you try them, to but deal with it when you're in a better condition physically in any case what, what, what harm will it do the earlier you tackle the thing or not I'm not saying some things are irreversible but you can at least stall them that's where we are with science 
there are no guarantees, right? I mean, like again, this guy is clearly fit, and like you know, something happened, right? So I mean, like there are no guarantees in life. Clearly fit, and time, he's, a, he's he's a proper working individual. He's not one of those, you know, yeah. artists, which I think helps you become more robust in a sense because you're <laughs> physically working. He's on stage. He's traveling all the time. Uh, he's a nice guy, loved Sarun, by everyone. There's no Sarun bad guy. There. There's a about. conspiracy theory type of thing going around saying that uh, the AC at the venue wasn't functioning properly, and he had complained to the management. But that's, that's most I mean, like, most that's, venues yeah. in India. Yeah. Like, but I, 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 my question is because we've been silly about everything and irreverent about everything, so we have to be careful. He can't point fingers at anybody on online. ACs yeah. and uh, mics which uh, have a bad feedback is is across every every Indian uh, venue. But do you think uh, people who perform a lot have have but, Abbas, more? What are you saying? This is a guy who's doing two hundred, three hundred shows a year. I get it. But, no, no, one sec. There's no there's the no conditions of, that are going to bother he, him. He's seen it all. He's, he's I get it, the but even at that level, so, the, your body takes more of a beating if you're a performing individual ev- every alternate well, night. I mean, like compared to oh, no, no, no. a person in the military, compared to a person in, uh, I mean, yeah. there, there are lots of physically arduous. He has professions. seen all the conditions. Yeah, military like, person still have a schedule, right? Like a but he doesn't perform. Sorry. No, I mean, sorry, Kaju, go ahead. You were saying something. I mean, Cyrus is putting a performer above a military guy or whatever. I mean, we don't put go through that much stress. No, no, no there's no oh, point yeah. comparing uh, anybody. I'm It's not comparing anyone. Right. That was, wasn't me. Uh, I'm saying that for the conditions of no, his work but, environment, he's used to mm-hmm. it for the last 25 odd years. And he's there must have been really bad shows. We've and, all seen shows that things I'll, don't work, etc., etc. So I don't think that's the truth. I would say this also, right? Uh, different performers work differently. Sure. Yeah. Uh, there are many, many performers, right? And I mean, like people who are physical, like you know, on stage musicians, rock musicians, and stuff like mm-hmm. that, who have very regimented routines, right? I mean, like in the sense that, yeah, they work late at night and they do this, so, but their twenty-four hour cycle is different. Mm. Yeah. But they do the same things at the same times, right? So they the routine is there. Mm. Correct. Right. It's like I mean, a watchman. Uh, a watchman is a non-glorified performer because he's doing the same shift, but nobody's clapping. <laughs> it's, it's similar. Okay, I occasionally I tap a guy on the head and you know say well done at five in the morning. The then I walk the dogs. <laughs> on the head. Because they're you're asleep. sitting down, Abbas. No, you poor chap. We got him a desk so he can sleep, just like the Seinfeld episode where the chair was brought in. It's like that. So I don't see the point of anyone doing duty between two a.m. and six yeah. a.m. like that. I feel really bad for them. Mm. I feel if a criminal will wants to rob you at two a.m., they should be allowed to. I mean, the kind of manner and effort that they're putting in to come to South Bombay and then you know go through all this. I mean, just let it be. Yeah. And what do we, we have now? We spoke we about ahead. this, right? I mean, watchmen are essentially parking attendants. Parking attendants, right? and what? I can't. Don't start me off on this, please. I'll just scream and cry. I'll become like an opera of rant. Yeah, I, I can't bear it. Privileged. privileged No rich, privileged people talking about how their security is threatened by this poor guy who's underpaid, underweight, uh, working three shifts and sitting there with a dead sort of. You know, I mean, there's no life to his career. Yeah, it's worse than mine. Do that. That's what I see. Like all these watchmen, what are they gonna Scream. do? He can scream, and I'll tell you how I have driven away a scream. robber by screaming. I can scream okay. like that. Okay, so um, I was in the rickshaw at uh, in West Nectar's Highway near Jogeshwar, and uh, this guy came and pulled the rickshaw was traffic signal. So this guy came and pulled my mobile phone from my hand, hmm. and I pushed him off, and then I screamed. Okay, I screamed so loudly that he ran across the road, and um, I had my rickshaw guy almost had a heart attack, of course, and okay. I had all the other cars stopping and asking what is the problem. But screaming helps. Women should scream. I don't know how but guys do it, but I've tried to make women scream, way. Kajol, and nothing happens. I can understand that. Mostly, side. mostly they roll over and say done. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, and I've even tried it in the rickshaw. But uh, coming back, coming back to your point, uh, I, look, I'm talking about building society. Some of these big building societies and all that, even the smaller ones, they employ this guy at night. Okay, like my building is only ten floors, uh, eight floors, or whatever it is. I mean, what do you want him to do? He's not a trained commando. He's paid nothing. He's come from Jharkhand. This is the only job he could get. He, they're basically really nice guys. They help with the dogs and cats and things like that. You know, they are like like he says they are glorified lift attendant. They open the lift for you, which is unnecessary and things like that as well. But uh, they aren't going to really fight hand to hand combat with five militants with guns and knives and all who come to rob you. I mean, yeah. they can scream. Yeah. 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 Story. About uh, things were getting you th- stolen. Were you the guy? No, I, the, I didn't steal phone. anything. <laughs> I was a, I was only the witness to this. So this is years ago when I used to travel in uh, best buses, which I haven't done in a really long time. It was a really crowded bus. They have uh, two uh, openings. Uh, One is wide enough. I mean, uh, uh, if you just, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I shouldn't say anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, so very crowded bus. Uh, pe- people were standing, and um, 
bus stopped at one of the stops a couple of people uh, got down and the guy next to me and guy behind me tapped the guy next to me and he said ke bhai sahab wo jo abhi aadmi utra na usne aapka batwa mara he was witnessing the whole thing batwa mara ya he did not do anything while he saw him steal the wallet once That's the guy point. got off he's telling the guy bhai sahab usne aapka batwa mara <laughs> <laughs> and the, the guy also was pissed off. He's like, "You didn't tell me when you were stealing." Yeah, just tell me. Tell me. Because he didn't want to get, he didn't want to get into a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he got scared that <laughs> that guy will attack him. Maybe he was a big fellow or something. Yeah, like. we don't but, know the whole story. But after he got off, he thought he should do his good deed for the day. But Cyrus Prochia, law number one eighty six tells you never carry uh, wallets in the back pocket. Always front pocket. All right. Uh, it's much easier for you to save yourself. I mean, I don't carry a wallet, so also no, apparently uh, it's very me. bad for your back. Yeah, to put a to put your wallet in the back pocket is very <laughs> bad for the back because. I mean, the kind of money that's in our wallet, really. I mean, come on. It doesn't wallet. matter. <laughs> it it means no. It makes no difference whatsoever. But uh, the it, it supposedly is bad for your back. Right? Does I mean, anyone like, really carry so much cash anymore? Like, if no choice, I carry my purse and my phone. I would grab my phone. <laughs> मिंट बॉक्स If if I okay. find a young girl, uh, I've got Europa for carbohydrates if I need to eat them, and I've got okay. a painkiller, and What I've got forty uh, bucks. Yeah. What is Europa for carbohydrates? So uh, if your blood sugar spikes, uh, there's a pill called Europa which you can take twenty minutes before eating a carb, and it will stop the spike. But it doesn't work on everyone, so please don't try it. It works on some people. It works on me, so I'm lucky. But I know enough people it doesn't work on, so then they can't so have. Every time you're having oh, so noodles and all, you take a pill. And I'm not a noodles like fan, so that would be a waste of Europa. But uh, for example, uh, he brought bail puri. Raju, how dare you mention him again? <laughs> brought bail puri and uh, chicken sandwich from Willingdon yesterday, which is uh, the only sandwich which I like. Uh, they have a mayonnaise, which uh, is just fantastic. The highly mayonnaise sandwich. I don't know. It's not highly. You know, it's just a lot of people have mayo, but it doesn't taste so good. Again, it's like chutneys. You know, one bail wala is great and ten are terrible. I mean, how can you explain? in it whatever yeah. <laughs> but so so i want it to be worth it when i eat the carb properly so i take that and then i devour the carbs that's it but unfortunately it doesn't uh, work for everyone so that's the bad news so abbas be careful speak, don't just there's a, there's a pill noodles. for everything yeah i love how you giving me segues uh, cyrus and kajol uh, <laughs> kajol is a noodle uh, funny, fan yeah. I'm a funny piece fan. of news that came out of bangalore where a man uh, Filed for divorce from his wife because he alleged that the wife only knew how to make maggi for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Which is on the so, back of the pack. Okay. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> Went to uh, catering college, dadar to learn maggi. Yeah, okay, go on. The case was called the maggi case. Uh, oh. It said the lawyer of the husband says, "Quote: The husband said his wife did not know how to prepare any food other than maggi noodles. It was noodles for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He complained that his wife went to the provision store and brought only instant noodles." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what my, that was going through my head too, right? I mean, like, dude, and, and also, honestly, making Maggi is easy. He can make it himself too. Why does he need his wife to he, make Maggi for him? And more importantly, why keep Maggie. yourself that's open the... to double entendre, mm. which her family is going to indulge in over his noodle after this? <laughs> I'm just thinking, God, you know. This is what I mean, you're you got, aiming at. You got the two minutes. You got the name Maggi, and you got the noodle. I mean, they're just going to have stand up on him for the rest of their lives. Two minutes. Are there? You guys, what are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> prepared in two minutes. <laughs> prepared in two. Finished in two minutes if you like. Yeah. Finished in two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I used to date a guy uh, who used to tell me about. All you and Navin should do a separate show on dating. Go on. <laughs> yes, be sure. But listen, because there is no dating that's happening on your show when you are around. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the park, Kajol. That was in the. That was a, that's a knockout punch. That's huge. We in should try this for the end I, of the show. Wow. In the days Wait, when I used up. to date people, and oh, yeah, Cyrus okay. was not in charge of my dating life. Um, <laughs> I met this guy who used to tell me about what an amazing cook he was, and he used to make Moroccan chicken and uh, some prawns on toast and shit like that. And he always fed me mac. Okay. And <laughs> Why does it take long to for the penny to drop? That's the question. You know, he talks about stock, but he gets mad. So he used to dole it up. He used to put like you know, cut cabbage and uh, peas and carrots in it. But it was still maggy. Yeah, but so at least uh, there's a little more effort. Pheasant right? in I mean, glass like in and sense. the prawns on toast. What? Sorry, what happened to that? 
Yeah, I she was not worth it apparently. Maybe I was not that big of a fan. What was his excuse for not giving, for <laughs> not present, for not presenting it? What was his excuse? No, there was no excuse. It was just like, uh, yeah, this is what I made. One second. So we start the conversation. We're like, today I'm making pheasant in glass with this caviar and that caviar, no, and no, then no, he no, bring no, the baggie. No, no, no. He tell me like, oh, you know, uh, I have made Moroccan chicken for other people. I have made. Chocolate mousse. It's on my resume, but I can't <laughs> provide those services right now. <laughs> How long did the relationship last? Is the sad question. Yeah, even I want to know that. Um, six months. <laughs> okay, that's a long. You time. deserve Raju. <laughs> what the hell can I say? You know, you really deserve Raju. I mean, why should I, you know, put my hand up here? I'm not putting my hand up. Uh, I know why Kajol in the everyone comments else's. says. I know why Kajol likes Kunal. Everyone else is feeding him. <laughs> but at least they're feeding her. This guy didn't yes. turn up. Yes, yeah. yes. He's he's like the bridegroom in UP, and not all the bridegrooms in UP. The one that was referenced by Abbas. Yeah. Cyrus, that's another great segue to the next piece of news I have. Did you, do, did you have the list of did topics? Did you read? Did Vinay? Did you send Cyrus? Uh, no? no, he stopped. Okay. He stopped. He's given up. He's uh, cynical okay. now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So before we go to the next uh, piece of news, uh, uh-huh. I mean, do you know that there's this meme that uh-huh. on Google, if you enter your birth date followed by a Florida man. Okay. You'll always come up with a weird piece of news that Let's says see. a Florida man fights alligator or whatever. I'm just googling it right so now. With date and time, or your, no, uh, just your birth date just followed birth date. by a, a Florida man. Okay. So uh, what is this? Like an very... alternate metaverse Avenger? <laughs> no, I'm, Florida, I'm right? coming to it. Why? <laughs> Florida man. All right. So the, what's what the I first got? thing that comes? Florida man known as the Monkey Whisperer is arrested. That there you go. So whatever date you put, you'll always find a weird. Why is he arrested? Florida though, if he helps news. monkeys with a behavior problem. I'm opening. Problems. I'm opening. I'm opening. The monk uh, arrested for illegally selling primates. Oh, that's so not a Monkey Whisperer. Yeah, so I mean, uh, is communicating with the animals, so that the, that's the thing. So he was apparently good with communicating it, but apparently he was also doing like uh, weird sales. Like he sold a caption monkey to somebody for like twelve thousand dollars. So he was basically uh, hold on. He was, uh, a lot of our this has gone way over what I no, no, expected. No, no. Okay. Okay. Of our hey, you uh, made me sir. You made me sure, search. Sure. Of course, I'm going to click on the article. Abbas, we have enough yeah. relatives who look like primates, so we have to be double check that is an actual primate in that sense because of the <laughs> reverse evolution that can happen as well. So I, I would just hold on for a second. Huh. The reason I brought this up is I think there should be an Indian version of this where you type in your date, date of birth. Marul is better than Florida. UP bride, UP bride refuses to marry. Because <laughs> I think since I've joined back, uh, Vinay yeah, has already four stories, sent me. Four stories. Where there was one we discussed where she refused to marry because a guy's wig fell off. Yeah. Uh, there was another one which I think there was the some problem. The Palu covered her catering. face and that caused a problem when they opened it. Yes. Didn't like it. And there was, yesterday Vinay. One. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday Vinay sent me a uh, a piece of news where UP bride refuses to marry the husband because he did not hire a photographer, and there was another uh, very uh, burn worthy line that she said, uh, which was, "I will tell you right now, just as soon as I as my." Oh no, it's a line. It's a line show, so it's fine that you're not prepared and that we can take half an hour to get to it. I mean. No one's thinking mm. silvery come back. No one's actually said that. <laughs> that. There's no pressure Everyone here. Everyone tries oh, to convince Himisha's the girl. Oh, Hemisha's birthday! Stop, stop, stop! We got to show respect. It's Hemisha's oh. birthday. Happy she's birthday! One of our man. regulars. Happy birthday, Hemisha! Yeah. I think she's our number one most female regular, regular fan. If yeah, that most regular. Correct. So I yes. would, I would give her a special prize. Um, I have what this gift you ruler, give <laughs> which uh, after my dad sort of retired, all these you know the lawyer stuff is all wasted. So you know I could um, Hemisha, you name your your gift. Uh, I will talk to Raju and see what I can put together. <laughs> He's generally the sponsor, as far as we're concerned. Sorry, Kajal, to bring it up, but uh, he has a good side to him for a well-rounded personality, a geometrical paradox. But yes, there is a side to his roundness, and hence I said it. Uh, where were we? Sorry, Abbas. The woman, the, the bride, yes. the bride to be said, the man who did not care about my marriage today. How is he going to take care of me in the future? No, no. Can, can I now? Can I be devil's advocate here? <laughs> I, yeah. I don't see this playing out like that. As a student of psychology, I will tell you immediately, they must have been fighting uh, tooth and nail from the beginning. Okay, this is the last straw. So down the... No, I the think the invited, marriage is the only day that the a, a woman in UP gets to put her foot down and have things her way. Fair so, enough. So, and so also, I think the they, most you know, marriages, I, 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 you guys haven't got married. There's a lot of fighting that goes on about <laughs> people trying to control the proceedings here. And, and in that, you can True. really, you yeah. know, if you're not, you can really fight. Uh, it begins yeah. uh, tamely and then gets really out of control. Uh, so what happens here is I think they fought over a lot of things and finally the last straw was where's the bloody photographer at which point she <laughs> completely broke the straw that broke the camel's back although there's no camel's back. She wanted to me. back out anyway. Okay, I'm just saying it. If, if I she, would, true. Yeah. True. Agreed, 100%, right? 
cast the matoes line to mike tyson whatever you land up doing is what you really wanted to do you know people can make all kinds of excuses in the world but at the end of the day if you don't take the flight is because you don't want to go there it's like that simple uh, so kajal thanks for summing it up and saving us time because i'm bored now uh, but this story goes nowhere i'm sick of up and the brides uh, not the bride so much as the bridegrooms yeah i'm never sick of the brides always uh, space in my heart for a bride but never for a bridegroom there are too many bridegrooms i say we give away 10% of indian men can't we just give them away and like earn some give away to them? whom any country wants them i'm like yeah 10% indian males off you go thank you well done charlie you wash your hands out you dig your nose in public out you stare at girls too long out you know just throw them out and boom it'll be great what do you uh, anybody thinks it's the right thing to do put your hands up raju will be one of them who's going to take right. them who's going to take exactly. them other countries that's as it is uh, you guys, quite troubled that's where Indians. marketing comes into play amit will take over from there i've done my bit with the ideation now he takes over as marketing and then accounts is abas and then silvery will <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure <laughs> yeah silvery will get 33 out of 100 in maths in 10 standard show give me the accounts hey bro there are lots of failures of startup billionaires today like that alexander wang i spoke of yesterday so let's yeah. not get into that what do the schools know i mean they force people to study it's it's more an effort of discipline that's all it is it's not an effort mm-hmm. of enterprise so i don't know how you correlate anything to anything beyond a point I mean, I can sit okay, and Vinay is uh, just frantically waving his hands for us to go to the Jupiter Improv segment. But Vinay so is like a, a spectator in the West End in Wankhede. Don't pay any attention. Just carry on. You know, I mean, he's waving way. his hands also the same way. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm just telling today, Real Madrid sucks, but I'm also going to Madrid, so I should be a little careful. Maybe I should. He's stop showing here. you two middle fingers right now, which you can't. He's got two middle fingers in one hand. He's a freak. And if that guy wants to get married, no bride will say no. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay so today's uh, Jupiter improv bored. segment oh. prompt is uh, not getting your salary on time is as bad as we did that uh, as repeating this yeah, improv so prompt again. again and again and again yeah. which is <laughs> basically the, the question is always not getting is as bad as right that's always yeah. the question so you have to think of something oh, bad I'll tell you want. no not getting your salary is as bad as when a girl says maybe to going out I got a lot of babies when I was a young man, and that's horrible. Uh, Kajal, have you ever done that to someone? Kajal has a story no? for that. I think she just recollects. <laughs> no, 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 no. But why? Listen, it's it's very mean. Time. It's Let actually me very mean. Honest. Let me be honest. I have had zero self-esteem and very big insecurity. So I've always said yes. Okay, like the guy didn't even finish typing out. Will you go out? I'm like yes. I'm free. <laughs> I'm trying to change that, but it's very yeah. hard for me. You know, when people send me messages, I feel I have to respond immediately. Otherwise, they go away somewhere. So, um, I have people who are holding my mobile phone and saying, "Just, just wait for an hour and then respond." Wow, that that makes sense from a psychological point of view. I totally respect you so much now, and I wish I you could have chased you when I was younger. Because I worked too hard for nothing. Where were you girls when I was young? You know, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you the maybe thing. I asked a girl out to Xavier's social, and she said, um, "Maybe." I was like, what? I was, I, yeah. I was prepared for no. What yeah, is maybe? No, no, was, maybe is basically options I want to keep open. If I don't yeah. find anybody yeah. else, I'll come back. Oh, I can't you. say no to you on your face. I'll. This is how I'll slowly. It's like you know, yeah. uh, like a, a delayed payment plan. I'll slowly say no. Yeah. Little bit every time. I, I, let, let me think about it as another one in the same oh, kind of way. Awesome. Getting like a big, salary. Late is as bad as uh, expe- <laughs> getting Maggie. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> getting Maggie when energy. you're expecting prawns on toast. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kajal. I don't think I never got a salary. Yeah, I'm a I'm a entrepreneur. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. So then, how about we change it for you? Getting paid on time or not, not getting paid on time? Really? That's it. That <laughs> I mean, this creative genius got thrown by that. She couldn't put no, it together. She's a freelancer. She knows she, everything she, about. She it. never gets paid on yeah. time, from what I understand. <laughs> But she still calls uh, back because of the low esteem issue that she mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't be me, don't be me. But I'll, I'll still come on time. Yeah, go on, sorry, Kajal. Getting, You're supposed to make up an improv, huh? Getting your payments late. Uh, getting is my as bad payments as. late is as bad as um, something. Okay. <laughs> 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 Uh, getting your payments late is as bad as trying to get Raju to respond to a female. Oh, I was that. waiting for oh, that. I, I, yeah. no, no. Wait, okay, getting my payments late is as bad as having seven people book tickets for my show and two people show up. Showing. Up. <laughs> <laughs> so you still get paid, right? No, what when I'm selling? There is no, even if seventy no, people show up, there's no payment, Cyrus. Oh, no, no, no. You get the gate, right? 
You get the gate, yes, right? But, so you yeah, sold seven, you get the gate of seven. But if two yeah, come, you still get paid. Yeah, but it's, it's not very comforting. Thing. You're oh spoiled. my God, I've got 600 bucks. I'm sorry, the you bank. comedians. Well, I this gen- for one hour, for two weeks. Because of you two, you're spoiled. spoiled. We just You're mentioned spoiled. seven because people buying tickets up, and two no, shows. No, 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 no. When we grew up, there was no one in the audience. We were doing all the college festivals. You had to beg them to come in. You had to hold people's... Can you imagine you hold the hand of a guy and say, stand here while same, I don't. It's still you the same. You pull them. It's still the yeah, same. Yeah, it's still the same. So I'm saying, but there's no ego then left after that. Now you don't care. I'm not thrown when they say there's nobody watching. I'm like, yeah, okay. No, but, no, I mean, no, but the, the, equivalent, the equivalent for dragging them in by the hand now is dancing with your tits showing on Insta. But <laughs> I'm just saying that after that, when people still don't show up, then the ego gets hurt. No. Yeah, that's true because getting, there's no other plan. Getting a salary <laughs> late is as bad as uh, putting provocative uh, uh, posts on Instagram <laughs> to, to lure in tickets. <laughs> I think getting you know, salary late, late as I'm a change it is as difficult as getting salary to attend anything uh, before noon. True, yes. <laughs> I think we've hit the peak. I don't think we can top that. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I, but I hope he's better and I hope oh, everything's well yeah, with yeah. him because it's something fishy now. Five, six days of fever ravaging in a time like this with a monkey pox in the background, a new uh, COVID strain around and people talking about all kinds of disastrous diseases, etc. I'm worried, guys. And I think you should be a little more sincere in your appreciation for a young man who's, you know, just at, at, at a point in his life where things will go either way. I mean, really, let's take a I'm minute. I'm going to text him right now this. and see if he replies by the end of the show. <laughs> yeah. All you have to then do is say know. there's an audition for a commercial at okay. such and such a place at two o'clock in Wadala and he'll be there with fever or not. It's a simple check. We, by the way, we did this with Saukar a couple of times and he bunk shoots. So huh. then we call up and put on accents and say that I do I didn't want Indo Canadian movie, but sir, we needed to come right now uh, to town. We give an address and everything else. So he said, yes, yes, I'll come. I'll be there in one hour. <laughs> <laughs> Before that, he called up to say he had fever and he can't come for the shoot. And it was a two-man shoot. So we already screwed already on location. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Saukar, we caught you. And next is Silvery. Only Raju uh, has escaped my We have to go into a net. break, Cyrus. But before I go into a break, uh, I want to say I hate going to the bank. I'll tell you the many reasons for that. One is the fact that, you know, my bank, they always ask me to put my hands up for some reason and check me. Yeah, the last time the watchman actually did that. The next, the second watchman behind that is SBI, where they're really nice to me once they, the English speaking people turn up. Um, he asked me why I don't have a mask. And, and many people didn't have masks. So I don't know what that was about. Anyway, uh, coming back to my story, which is slightly different. Folks, banks, I tell you, are a disaster. Stick with Jupiter, all will be good. I just needed to say that, actually. I'm sorry for rambling. It'll never happen again. We'll take a break and we'll come back. It's a quick Jupiter money break. Kajal will tell us more about low self-esteem and pining for love on... Uh, where, where do you live exactly? I forgot. Can't live me. <laughs> I don't think I can say that. I, 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 I'll have trouble. <laughs> we'll take a Jupiter money break. Wow. Ready for the Rajya Sabha, Amit, as far as I'm concerned. His voice, his positioning of what he's trying to say. But my mother is destroying our show. She sent me a message saying, when someone is mean, don't listen. When someone is rude, walk away. When someone tries to put you down, stand firm. And don't let someone's bad behavior destroy your inner peace. But these are the very qualities that make our show. You know, I... <laughs> Mom, never do this. This is paying, this is paying for the bail puri that uh, we made Kunal buy for us. You know... <laughs> Really. Uh, Amit, uh, welcome back yes. to the voiceover world. We've had you for two, three days, but you weren't on, so we couldn't talk about it. Ah, Just okay. to clarify, we get a lot of people. See, uh, Amit parodying himself, well, that's fine. But why are there, why is there a change from time to time? Because they, they really like your voice. We've already I done had the census. a bad cold and cough for the last couple of weeks. I couldn't do, uh, like, you know, that's, reading out. That's a... That's a bit of a sissy comment, I would think. You know, I mean, you just buckle up, bro. You man have, up and you do the voiceover under pressure. Listen, That's how have, home was built. Sure. I, I mean, artists. like, if there were not uh, reasonable alternatives, then I would do it, right? Also, One I minute. started... To, what? No, no, you put your foot in the hole here. You All have right. to continue. Uh, you said there are reasonable so, alternatives. Yeah, both of them are good at doing this. So why would I not yeah, have that? Three, three people uh, commented saying Abbas should do more uh, weekly promos. There okay, you go. So Abbas, I'm not going to... Abbas, because you have three handles... Hamisha was one of them. Laptops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you noticed a sudden surge of illnesses and unexplained disappearances in the no office? Point. Point. 
Jackson, <laughs> damn point. Let me blow my nose on that. You, you know what? <laughs> you have no idea how true that is. I was actually going through some of that yesterday. Like, who the fuck is not showing up right now? Because can a lot of stuff that needs to get fear? done is not getting done. Guys, can I you want me to get into this really right now? This Between the two pandemics, point. when we used to chat a lot, one of his biggest fears is, and he saw it, he saw the writing on the wall well before, mm. because you've got to be a little cynical in life. Uh, the fact is that this work from home is going to bite you in the ass. Because you can't call anyone's bluff anymore. You know, one moment you give them this pandemic and everything that goes with it. So this, I think now we've exhausted the pandemic. I think we have to yeah. go back to some more militant style yeah. of functioning. But because this is be madness. Back in some form when the rains start. Because there will be obviously flooding, yeah. this and that. So we will, there will no, be another Genuinely, if you're screwed and you're running late by three hours, it's a different story, you know. And if you're being honest and open about it. But you but can't just but enough about every Monday not turn up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. And the, lesson lesson for silvery, <laughs> and the lesson for Silvery is turn up on the show to fight for yourself. Otherwise, we'll yeah. just go on bitching so and moaning. So, Vipakshi is saying Abbas is IBM's Komolik. I am not. Cyrus is. He's the one who's been uh, putting <laughs> salt into the into the controversy. Sorry, I am feeling a little ignorant. I don't know who Komolika is. Oh, the vamp for uh, Kahani Ghar Ghar Ki was it? Huh? Uh, played by Urvashi Dholakia. It's basically a negative had, character. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All of these are words you're saying. Uh, Kajo, please explain who, who or what Kamalika is. It's firstly just Kasoti Zindagi Ke. Oh, about. sorry. <laughs> I'm so, that's, I looked at Vinay and he nodded. Hi, it was Kahani Ghar Ghar. Vinay, the real Madrid supporter is our go-to guy for Fast Bahu Serials. What is wrong with you people? Get the right team in place. Kika <laughs> <laughs> Kapoor's most iconic uh, TV series, which, which is had what? Mr. Bajaj. <laughs> that was Sanskrit <laughs> Kabir Bahuti, right? No, no, Kasoti yeah. Zindagi. Kasoti Zindagi. Yeah. That was Kika Kabir Bahuti. And the second part, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sure Mr. Bajaj. Okay, now, now we've gone to the wrong zone because I don't think anyone can solve this. Uh, uh, yeah, I, the lady with the cobra bindi. See, that the I know. <laughs> that, that I know. I, I, I remember who that is. She's got, yeah, no, that, that, that was like, Ramola Sikan. It doesn't Wasn't matter who it was. The point is, okay. he was. Yeah, I mean, the, again, I know her from the uh, you know her basically Instagram meme shit, right? I mean, like yeah, that. No, the yeah, 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 yeah. makes sense. I mean, don't lie. You watch the show with the volume off, like any respectable <laughs> yes, person. I do. So the this moment the visual was given to you, you got it spot on. Yeah. This is what um, I do. I live for the soaps. No, we all watched yeah. it because it was a direct follow up to Kaun Manega Karodpati. So okay. uh, while so the, the, the end credits the, were still playing for five KBC, minutes, five minutes of overplay that happens. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair I think enough. that those those shows started the trend of playing the episode while the end credits of the previous one are still going on. And you know, if it's a family of dumb and dumber kind of people, after five minutes, they, the kid will ask the dad, "Amitabh Bachchan, where is he?" Yeah. All right. Okay. What we uh, doing now? Uh, we're talking about Justin Trudeau, who has uh, plans to ban handgun sales in the wake of the Texas school shooting I'll just yesterday. I present it. Yeah, it's called News Justin Trudeau. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ah, ah. So, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau announced on Monday a proposed freeze on handgun ownership in Canada that would effectively ban their importation and sale following the recent mass shootings happening in the United States. Uh, he said, we are introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership uh, at a news conference. Uh, it's not passed yet, but uh, it most probably will be. And it's a move that has been... Although the problem is more American and by USA than scholars. Canada in any, in any case. Yeah, I want to quickly ask Amit a question. Not to the same degree, but... It, well, there was, been, there was a mass shooting yeah. uh, uh, accident, uh, not accident, event in Canada also recently, mm. where also a lot of a, people died. a shooting which uh, reverberated in Punjab, since there's a direct correlation between Canada and Punjab and Mr. Moosewala. No, no, but no. Uh, uh, coming back to Stephen Kerr, the, Kerr, is that how you pronounce it? The, the Steve coach? Kerr, the, yeah, yeah. Steve Curry, sorry, the uh, Golden Kerr, State Steve Kerr. Warriors... <laughs> Steve Kerr, I, I saw the rant that he did um, at uh -huh. the press conference. It was quite heartfelt. I don't it know was. if you guys are familiar with it. And, and yeah, what he said was, was, you know, I mean, that they've got these 50 guys who are holding up the legislature uh, uh, to, to stop, uh, to do background checks. 50 hardcore right-wing sort of, we have to have guns. No, it's not 50 hardcore right-wingers. The hardcore right-wingers are going to vote no and that's the end of it. The problem is right. that the non-hardcore right-wingers don't want to be on the record. They don't want to have voted for. So who are or these fifty this. guys then? They're the Republican senators, but not all Republican senators are Ted Cruz level nuts. Okay. Right? There are. There's a spectrum over there, and the like. Ted Cruz is voting like you know. Screw you guys. We're not. Uh, we're not passing the law. He's. He's voting no. He's. Clear to vote no, but you mm. take somebody like a Republican they won't let the senator. They the bill come up. Is, they can. They are, like, like Susan a Collins from 
Susan Collins from Maine, right? I mean, like she is a centrist kind of senator. Now, she is a Republican who has a big Republican following, but at the same time, she is also somebody who would probably agree to this particular rule. But the thing is that she, she if she goes on if she goes on record saying yes, I want to uh, uh, put this rule, she'll be advertised against by Republicans for the longest time for like the NRA and those kinds of this, right? So it's basically a uh, they don't want to be on the record. The, the the law cannot pass right now, given the way the law is. The law needs sixty seven votes. The law is not passing, but it's not even coming up for a vote. Well, it's ridiculous because you're asking for background checks. Not even saying don't sell. We're saying background check as an imperative thing. A eighteen year old kid can buy yeah. assault weapons, and nobody blinks an eye. I mean, that's a little it's, too much, right? It's and harder I mean, to drive a car about? than buy a gun. It's a, that's that's the insanity. Here. A video went re-viral this uh, this week, which had come out in 2013. Should a thirteen year old kid just going yeah. and buying a gun? What is that so, convention? Uh, what do you call it? The fair or whatever, where he went to get it ultimately. Yeah, he couldn't. Gun, he couldn't gun, get a drink. A he couldn't show. get a beer. He couldn't get yeah. three, four things that he went for. Normal went for shops with no security. They stopped him. Lottery ticket. They yeah. stopped him. And then he goes to this fair, gun fair, whatever gun show, and boom, <laughs> so, piling so, the guns in his hands. Nishan Tanwar, the comedian, he went to, to for tour uh, in the US, and apparently he lost his wallet over there. And he said, for the next two days, I didn't have, I had very limited amount of cash with me, and the only thing I could buy easily without my wallet and with limited cash was a gun. <laughs> I think that's so, a little yeah. overdone, but yeah, <laughs> you can go to McDonald's and pay them cash. To I, I, like, <laughs> you know, I guess they asked for his ID or whatever, and, and he was like, McDonald's, come on, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's so a he, little. I don't know. It's a good joke. Repeating what he. What it's he said. a good joke. Is he a clay pigeon shooting national champion at least after all this? Because you know, I mean, <laughs> no. what's he done with but that? But he's from Delhi, so I yeah. think the gun. So the gun will come in handy. handy. Fair enough. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Don't like my joke, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. And Ouch. the Susan Collins. I know of Susan Collins because she's from Maine. So yeah. Stephen King once tweeted that I've written many monsters in my day, but none as vile as Susan Collins. <laughs> because she's a Republican, and Stephen King wow. is very much not. Yeah. <laughs> Although you want to harp on this for a second, I'm. I think hope for humanity is in the centrists or in all political yeah. parties, the ones who can look both ways a little bit. Because that's the only way forward. But in my uh, opinion, if you're a centrist, you're kind of in in favor of the you're, oppressor. You're also a bit uh, hypocritical because whatever you're saying, you're just. Uh, don't put their legs into the fire. They're just standing there. That's know, bullshit. I, I, I'm sorry. You're that's bullshit. You're being very cynical. Yeah, uh, that's right. I, 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 the, the idea that uh, you can't, uh, if you assume most people are rational and the idea that you can't look at both sides and come to an opinion which is neither one or the other and might sometimes fall somewhere in the center or somewhere on the spectrum of things, I think that it, uh, you know, I mean, like, it's a very easy leftist or rightist thing to kind of like, you know, say that, you know, hey, you just basically don't want to take a choice. Why should I take a choice? I believe that I believe in capitalism. I believe in free markets. I also believe in social freedom. I also believe that guns should not be a thing in that sense. I also believe in strong law and order. I have opinions which come across all kinds of the uh, the the, uh, the spectrum. Why should I have to adhere to one uh, faction's it, religion? It's, it's not one color. That People is, think it's one color. Political. You just color the uh, paint in one way, and that's it. It can never yeah. be that way. It makes no sense. It's just I refuse to think like that. The people who, who call themselves centrists, and I'm going to take the name of Drew Grant. Okay. Okay. I just find it pointless the, the way he tweets. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Um, there has to be some leaning of your of your thinking, right? There has to be no, some... exactly what he said. You lean no. in certain ways on certain issues. You don't lean yeah. throughout. Why you should I? Why, why on earth, no. Kajol? Also, why on earth would I allow either a right wing ideologue or a left wing ideologue to hijack my thinking and form my opinions? For thinking me? is corrupt if it's one side yes, and one dimensional. Yeah, the only party that comes corrupt. into power has a certain ideology. Um, no, they don't. They are a big. The most they parties may not are big. Be, but, <laughs> Sorry, but, please, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt okay, because we're actually but, disagreeing right now. <laughs> so I should be civil and allow you your, to disagree. Your properly. team Raju, as far as we are concerned, I'm mean, <laughs> team Raju. You're the Komalika of our show now. Huh, huh. Sorry, go okay. ahead. Uh, I'm just saying that there's a party in power right now, which I do not mm. agree with a lot of the stuff they're doing. Uh, they are doing some good stuff also. The thing is, the stuff I disagree with is enough to make me lean the other way. There has to be something which... What is the other way? Finally, it comes down to... I don't uh, agree with their 
communal huh. agenda and whatever. There should be something in a party that makes you lean the other way also, right? Because finally it's coming down to a vote. You're voting about who's going to form the government. No, no, no. One second. Uh, they'll claim there's no communal agenda. If you look at the, there are enough people in the BJP who, of course, many of them are sidelined. Jao Dekar for, comes to mind. Gadkari comes to mind. Uh, you look at um, uh, Piyush Goel, for example. These are the kind of guys you can relate to. Honestly, if you look at their politics and all, you, as a left-leaning, liberal, sort of centrist, whatever you want to call yourself, you will be able to appreciate that their thinking is not that far and out of tune from your However, uh, you know, at the end of the day, there will be hardcore people in each party or in each area of philosophy where they're just completely one way. But most of us are sort of here and there. That's what the whole yes, problem is. Yes, the larger is. picture, the larger picture that a party follows is a certain leaning, right? Now, finally, you can be a centrist, but there has to be something. You're, you're finally thinking of who you're going to vote into power, right? There has to be a certain leaning. Well, I, I agree with what mm. you're saying in a sense, right? Some of this bigotry kind of yeah. takes a lot of these things off the table, right? In the sense that um, I'm not an Indian citizen, so I can't vote in India. But if I could vote in India, I would never vote for the BJP. Because, I, you know, I mean, like the fact that there is this degree of uh, uh, open bigotry within the party, I would never vote for them. But that doesn't mean that I have to not... Uh, that that I can't like. Uh, I I've spoken about. Uh, I I think on this show many times, right? Uh, demonetization was a dumbass rule. Despite all of the shit that people give GST, GST is transformative to this country. UPI is transformative to this country. Right? Aadhaar so, card. Well, I mean, UPI and Aadhaar are linked in their way, right? So I mean, like, it can't really be one without the other. He's a bloody Aadhaar supporter. No, but uh, listen, there is there is a benefit to having certain uh, to having certain standards set on financial things, right? Now, on the Congress side of things, right? I mean, like, uh, there are things about them which are great. There are things about them which are awful. So why do I have to make a decision or why do I have to lean either way? Or why does anybody have to lean either way? Can't you look at the most important issue in that particular election? Now, sometimes it might be the bigotry aspect of things. Sometimes it might be something economic. Sometimes it might be something foreign policy driven, right? No, you I, look I at totally get what you're saying. But what also, you're saying is someone I, being I think rational. we're confusing two things. One is, uh, like Amit said, you take the more rational uh, viewpoint. I think what Kajol is referring to and to some extent what I also had in mind is you always do the but also. Okay, so mm. they are burning down whatever. They have a communal agenda. But it's in which case you are... In which case, Amit will clearly take the other uh, issue, where he's like, I am not for communal politics. But uh, what I had in mind okay, as a centrist I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. Okay, they are doing communal, uh, they have a communal agenda, but they are increasing the GDP, for example. So does that one cancel out the other? It doesn't, but at the same time, no, no, no. the things all operate on a spectrum. Okay, if there, right. if there is, uh, if, if they were doing amazing things for the economy, right. which were lifting all boats, okay, that right. means like, you know, they might have like, uh, they might have a communal agenda in their speech right. but Amazing. if they're practically lifting all this then I mean like you know you have to weigh that they are doing, am I okay with this no, I'm not but at the same time you gotta great things for the economy again, you say, you, you, wrong. one can say that from a place of privilege Wait, when it doesn't affect I, them directly I, I, I come from where I come from I can't <laughs> like you know I can't apologize uh, for who you are yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, you know while you acknowledge your privilege and all of that I come from where I come from I mean like yeah. you know just Besides, because I'm privileged doesn't mean I'm not BJP allowed to have is an the opinion. only party who's offered rich people also 15 lakhs with commodity interest 18, 19 lakhs uh, and which we'll get at some point with the GST attached of course 9% 9% so 18% of that but uh, just to quickly say they also localize thought right in America and in India so the same uh, the UP functioning BJP is a little different from the Maharashtra functioning BJP. There are bits which are common, but there I would definitely right. be more uncomfortable in UP than I would be in Maharashtra. It's different from the, the Goa functioning BJP. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and if you look yeah, at America, yeah. let's go back to America for a second. Mm -hmm. It's also depending on who's in power, what they're trying to achieve. Uh -huh. they've, they've got their own versions of, let's say, more left-leaning right uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Republican yeah. senators, etc. So like my biggest when, uh, is when Joe Biden ran for president, someone said he's the he's the most Republican Democrat. Yeah. You, can, you can think of. No, he so. is, though. Yeah, he really yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know, he. Uh, it's kind of crazy how centrist, or I, I guess centrist is not the right word to use in the context <laughs> of not, this conversation. Yeah. But, you know, it's amazing how, uh, like, you know, he, he basically understands that, hey, rational people, we got to work together. We got to figure out how we can get from point A to point B. Uh, there's, 
there was a th- so Thomas Friedman. I know that people think he is a dumbass these days, but I still read his articles. You read his column because it's free online. Yeah, where I used well, to pay no, for it's it. not free. I pay for the New York Times, <laughs> but oh, okay. um, mm-hmm. uh, but but again, like he was talking about this. He had lunch with Joy Biden, and he was mm-hmm. talking about like you know people mm-hmm. don't realize the uh, actual accomplishment this guy has had over the last two years, which is basically Ukraine mm-hmm. Russia. Right now, the only reason why Ukraine is not Russia is because Joe Biden was able to kind of stitch that thing back together. Right. Right, the entire NATO and like the alliance and this and that, and it, it's interesting to me that there's sometimes those foreign policy issues become the most important. In which case, you need competence. Mm. You can't well, have your Trumps of the, the problem. World. The problem I'm having is his health, basically. And look at the difference because uh, Trump didn't take the vaccine and he's robust and strong. This guy took, took ten vaccines. Vaccine. Ah, just for the sake of argument, leave it now. No, okay. come on. He made a big deal out of it. <laughs> no, because no, that's his See, I'm the took See, look the at vaccine, my hands. Man. Look at my hands. Yeah, hold that. And this guy said, "Okay, we'll take the vaccine." Will follow the rules, etc. And he, I just worry about his health. Just it reminds me of the end of Atul Bihari Vajpayee, where with all his greatness as a statesman and orator, at the end, I mean, it was not good. You know, yeah. you want to be careful who's in power. Uh, we have a couple Atul of these. Atul Bihari Vajpayee is also a good example of the most Nehruvian BJP leader. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. That's a very yeah. good example. Example of going this way but coming from that way. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and also going this way and becoming more moderate when he was in power. The Shiv Sena ninety yeah. five became very moderate when they were in power. They yeah. didn't, there was no beat back. They're moderate I, now, now also. Yeah. They're now moderate yeah. now. Yeah. Most yeah. Moderate yeah. Now, the I fucking think. party that dug up yeah. uh, cricket pitches. Pitch. Correct. Absolutely. Right? I mean, like, they Valentine's yeah. Day, which they pronounce but Valentine. They've that been was not phenomenal. allowed. They've, they've been a really kind. Uh, I don't want to say phenomenal because no government in India is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Right? But, but it's a, it's a breath. It's but a, they've done a yeah, good, more, a good broad job in this kind of uh, yeah, fair enough. shitty also, pandemic. Bombay's been like reasonably like we had one bad month. I feel like in Bombay during yeah, this pandemic, yeah. right? I, I, other yeah. than that, I think that it's been handled well. Uh, yeah, I mean, like you know, they've done. No, but right now, I, I would say I want the, job. I would like the pandemic back. I can't bear the people on. The road, you know. I'm just frankly Back, speaking. It never went away. No, I know, but I, I'm just thinking maybe they could do a lockdown again for those who are scared because a lot of people are scared. I'm saying, you're scared, stay home. I keep telling people it's back, go back home. There's too many people That's on the road. That's why Silvery's at home. <laughs> <laughs> Silvery's reasons are different. Silvery's uh, higher person. Like actually, yeah, yeah like, we're gonna have to cut all of this out. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't replied back. I texted him. He's been uh, out for five uh, days. I hope he's not got like something oh, like real. Something he really has replied back. We, we, we are finished. <laughs> As a group of bumbling comedians sitting around making fun of a guy who's really suffering. Oops, I meant Biden. Oh, go on. <laughs> Thiris, I have a detailed message from Antariksh. This is uh, breaking can you news. Can, can you play it? Can you take a screenshot and send it or whatever? I mean, I, I'll read it out if you want. Yeah, read it out. I, think that's so I okay, asked yeah. him, "Hey Antariksh, uh, what's up? How are you, how are you feeling?" You did a one, two, three replies, uh, 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 I, 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 I'm not uh, making this up. He's I, I, replied I, I, with two I, 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 I got, I got, I got, I got a thing. Uh, to one, two, three, and uh, and, uh, and uh, one, 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 two, three, and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Says, "Hey, hey, man, what's up? I'm not well at all." Severe fever which keeps coming back every 4-5 hours. The effect of the medicine goes oh, down. Fuck. Along with shivering as well. I got all the tests done. Came COVID negative. No typhoid, dengue, malaria. But my WBC count is low. Which means immunity is way down. We still don't know what I have. It might oh, just man. be a viral. But viral shouldn't last so damn long. It might be some internal infection perhaps. So not well at all. Big time pain. Also, I keep hearing you guys shitting on me. <laughs> and doubting my <laughs> diagnosis on cock and bull. Hilarious. <laughs> Is there, can you make a video and send it? So we can yeah, we'll, we'll ask you. We can play it tomorrow. With some Shanae music in the background, you know, the relevant sort of mood, ambience lighting, and we boom, and we can stop this. Yeah, yeah be but careful. We hope uh, you feel well uh, very soon. Yeah. Well, no, let's not push it. We're not Mother Teresa. I mean, like, so, you know, this is, he has more work to do than just coming on Cock and Bull for one hour in the morning. I need yeah. him back in the office, man. Uh, uh. Uh, cool, fine. let's go to the AMAs. Oh, oh, sorry, Ooh, I did that. Something happened. I did that. Amit, what have you done? <laughs> this I is why I don't like to come to class. I didn't do that. Load shedding all Lift the time. Back. Wait, I did this and. Okay, okay. <laughs> I felt. Okay. Right. <laughs> Everything's fine, Cyrus. <laughs> no, I'm just throwing his weight around like that in the studio is not right. You know, he's upset with something. He shut the lights. I mean, what's going no, on? No, no, I think I basically I push one of these things on the back, these little square thingies. And, and I thought that turned off the light. A secret door opened. <laughs> and, oh. like, and, silvery, and silvery came <laughs> out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, so let's go to the AMS. Yes. Yeah, we have a bunch of questions. Yeah, big boomer uh, energy. Right. Buy the T-shirt. Bye. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Ivmpodcast.com. dot com. Uh, shop tab, and it will redirect you to the page where you can buy. Hey, the listen. Uh, two guys wanted yeah. to buy it. I I couldn't remember how to buy it. So they have just, just get from, on the from list. the website. From the website. 
Tell no, them from the website. website. Okay. You go just to the website and a, there's a shop. I know it's very simple. We just send it on WhatsApp now so I can pass it. I will. People, yes. Because right now the sales will be very high. Would you like to buy? And then if it gets, yes. you know, a little more, yes. it's different. Uh, Kajal, mm. would you like a free t-shirt? No, I'll buy one. She's going to get one. Oh, there's no problem. <laughs> Aisha, just Please buy, buy. Sorry. Forgot I said that. <laughs> I'll get my wife to wash and send. You know, I'm always the chauvinist when it comes. I'm not going to give you your T-shirt, Cyrus. <laughs> How dare you? I share my wife's clothes. What's wrong? Don't get gender specific okay. in this. Follow me at Instagram and Twitter on Board Brocha. I'm so bored. I need your help. I need your love. I need your touch. Okay, just, just, just follow me. AMA time. The first one comes from Neha Bhale. I'm so, my chest is 45. Is that not uh, enough? It's actually I'll for say. me. I'll tell you. Neha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Neha says, "Want to hear Abbas's comic stan story? How fun would it have been to watch him on the show?" Hey, what? Ha- I'd like yeah, to. Yeah. I'd like to tell Neha, I am actually on the show for all of eight seconds in episode one, season oh. one, episode no, 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 no. one. Just no, something went wrong in the sense that something happened. No, nothing no? went wrong. Yeah, I thought you were going to be on season two. No, no. that didn't happen. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> season right. one, I auditioned. Was I got to the first two? round. Oh. There was a season two. There's going to be a season okay. three as well. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh. Went for the audition, got through the first round. Uh, then they had another audition with the with the crowd and everything, which was just before the short list of comedians, which I didn't make it through. Then uh, for season two, uh, they called me for an interview, uh, I, which I gave, and then I never heard back from them. So I sympathize with you, <laughs> Kajol. <laughs> But so yeah, that's, know, that's my comic stand. So no, I have I have totally ignored comic stand calls. Season one, <laughs> season two, and season three. Yeah. Oh. They've been but, calling but, her. Judges uh, for uh, season one was uh, Sapan Verma and Naveen Richard, and uh, season two I did not nice have. Guys. A, Aren't they nice? Yeah, guys? season two I did not have. A, oh, 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 one uh, sec, one sec. Did they make decisions or did the television uh, provider? I have no make? idea. I think the I think the producers or the writers. I think so. I don't think no, Sapan no, and uh, do have a say. <laughs> yeah, they do have a say. They do re- score you. Uh, on, on the on the show. Okay, I did something with this uh, Sapan recently on MTV. I can't remember what. And I've uh, Naveen has come to the Oval and sat with my dogs about four five years ago. Yeah, he introduced himself. I had no idea. Who, I thought he was like a. I got scared. I thought he was like you know one of those uh, guys who likes you physically because he was. You mean Naveen Richard, not Naveen Narona. No, Naveen Richard. Naveen Narona, you <laughs> okay. know he likes you physically, so you just stay where you are. Yeah, right. it's a different story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, the next one comes from uh, Madhu. Uh, Madhu Sethi says, uh, "Hello from a train to Amritsar. Got on from Delhi. Amit's pick for finals: Boston or JSW? And what are his thoughts on the Wizards for new season?" Fuck the Celtics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit back. <laughs> Fuck the Celtics. That's first and foremost, and always. Uh, so obviously Golden State, which is probably the team that I enjoy. And uh, the Wizards are always screwed. They'll be screwed again next year. Bradley Beal's gonna go. I don't. I'm speaking words which nobody knows. I, I, no, you you do. I just watching her care. I hope I say his name correctly. Uh, watching him talk and just he just he just push basketball to the side. I'm thinking you make a guy do a press conference a few minutes after the kids are 400 miles away have been mm-hmm. slaughtered by some nutcase. I mean, what do you want to do? I mean, how can you just talk about the sport with you know? It wasn't easy. I was just thinking yeah. these these kind of things. Sometimes you you got to just not do it. Maybe there was the PC was not a good yeah, idea. I mean, like so you know. I mean, this has always been a thing. I was so I've been listening to a podcast uh, called uh, the Elite Club uh, or something like that, uh, where they're talking about like all of these very. It's a historical NBA podcast, right? So there have been different times where a choice is being trying to do. Do we actually play this game or not? Right? Like so. Um, when uh, so somebody in Milwaukee got killed immediately following uh, the Black Lives Matters protest, which happened last year. So I mean, like that was set up by somebody getting killed in Minnesota. After which, somebody got killed in Milwaukee. Milwaukee didn't play that day. That was the first time a game was canceled because of this. But there was a long debate when uh, Robert Kennedy got assassinated as to uh, by between Will Chamberlain and uh, Bill Russell, these two, like, you know, iconic best of all time type you players, they were in the finals together. I feel like crying because I know them, all three. Yeah. Come on. No, but they're they're big names, right? So, uh, so but uh, Bill Russell and Will Chamberlain went into this entire thing. Should we play? They were ref- uh, they were res- uh, requested it's by... Live. Uh, they're a live uh, argument. 
Well, no, yeah, they, no, so the two of them were discussing, do we play or do we not play? But then what happened was the mayors of Philadelphia and Boston, which were the final teams at that point in time, asked them to play because they were like, uh, basically, this uh, this is a way for us to kind of keep people off the streets in this kind of no, a tough time. So if it was a cricket-wise, IPL final, whatever, I'd say they should play. I'm saying don't do the press conference oh. because it's a little difficult to talk cricket, right? With, with this, oh. like, kids being slaughtered. There's nothing worse in a society than kids being slaughtered. What else do you... Yep. I mean, how can you just discuss, I think... Uh, uh, Three pointer will settle the match. It's a good get into that, but you play, you play because you're right. The show must go on. Always say that our podcast yeah. will go on regardless. I will be in Spain, <laughs> but the podcast will go on. Yeah. I will be in Spain. You will be in pain. That kind of thing. <laughs> Aman Verma three zero five zero. Is is this the Aman Verma who was on TV? I don't think so. I say this. <laughs> I mean, we have a VB listening to us, which I think is Vishal Bhardwaj. So this, um, I mean, Aman of Verma course. might be him. Of course. Uh, Aman Verma 3050 says, felt really bad for Jimmy Butler. Amit, do you think he was better than Tatum this season? And this is not uh, Josh Butler for those listening and to this podcast. And it's not Channing Tatum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, just let's, uh, this is a conversation with Aman and Amit, which has nothing to do with us. We'll leave. We'll come back in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I think me and Kajol should also leave. <laughs> <laughs> really. She can quickly yeah, uh, watch something else for a couple of minutes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I'll give a quick answer here. Basically, uh, Miami and Boston uh, was the Eastern Conference Finals. It is probably the first NBA uh, Conference Finals that I've not watched a single game from because I hate both teams. Mm. I like I it, like it. It would actually give me pain to watch either one of them win. What a petty right. guy! Up to all you <laughs> said about humanity and such Absolutely. a worldly wise human being, and then you get irritated with two T teams in basketball. Really. Yes. Absolutely. PC, PC has a question for Cyrus. Cyrus, wow. why don't we see you in movies? Or you can uh, go the other way. Why do we see you in movies? I mean, we could, <laughs> we could ask that question as well. Yeah, that's fair. You know, I'm still waiting for Penthouse to release now. I don't know what's going on with that on Netflix. Penthouse. Your movies come- well, uh, 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 that's the Indian. The Indian version was called Penthouse. I also, I also thought what you're thinking, but uh, it's because that's why you Ameri- said yes to the movie. No, I said yes because it was a pandemic and there was no work, so that was it. Yeah. <laughs> what is this movie about? I mean, I'm dying. It's a murder mystery. It's actually a murder mystery. That's what it is. You know, in a in one sentence. Yeah, don't ask me what I'm doing there. Their budgets were low. Yeah, they had to fill up the frame with five, six men, and I'm one of them. That's it. But it was a fun experience. The food was good. Nobody. I love being in a film only because the treatment is... You live in another world then. You've all your stand-up gigs and your events and all that, nothing compares to the treatment you get on a film set. You get your own trailer, mm-hmm. 36 people come to take your order. They don't want you to come early. They want you to come late. They're, they're, they're all worried for you. <laughs> and sometimes you just do one line or one... Sometimes you just do one walk in a whole day shooting, you know, literally. Um, so, I mean, those days you can't believe. We should come back up to 16 hours or something with travel. And your mom and all thinks, oh God, the guy's really shattered. What a long day. And I'm like, yeah, mom, that's right. <laughs> I just walked once across. <laughs> There's a close of my feet, and that's it. I watched two T20 matches. I remember it was the highlight of that okay. day, particular day. Uh, yes, sir. Let's take two more. Uh, the next one. Oh, I'm going to go to the from... travel agent. Hurry it up, huh? Okay, just one more. Then Venkat, uh, aim for Amit. Let's say Earth 2.0. Uh, U.S. does bring in some gun legislation. What can be done about the 350 million odd already out there? Uh, that's a hard question that I don't think we can answer. <laughs> first, Cyrus has to go to the travel agent. Uh, no, so, no, one second, one second. Let's look at this for a second. Uh, okay, so you can get guns off people. That's another story altogether. But that doesn't mean you don't legislate. You have to try to do so something. New Zealand did this thing where the government bought back the guns. Back which Australia, are already out Australia. There. I think also New Zealand. I think well, New Zealand, I, I, think Australia. Australia, I think it's happened somewhere else also in Europe yeah. where they did buy back guns. Uh, you can, what if the people don't want to sell it back to the government? Well, no, Not that. Like you what if you withhold the up? information? You can still withhold the information. There are ways to do Jugaad and all that. Then, then, yeah. then it's illegal, right? Then it yeah, but, illegal, I, but, but I'm saying make it hard. No? Make it as hard as you yeah. can. That's all. What else can you do? But, Illegal is illegal, right, at the end of the day. And again, uh, remember the old Fiat cars which used to open the other way? Those are no longer on the streets. Why? Because they don't pass inspection anymore. Similarly, if your gun doesn't pass inspection, that I mean, these are the ways to handle it. You can't, like, you know, I mean, like, you're not going to get all of them off, but at least try some. Exactly. And, you know, there's no silver bullet solution to these things. That's that's the key problem that happens with political discussion, right? The assumption that there is one answer that's going to solve all problems, where answers no, are typically, like, you know, you do 20 different things out of which 9 or 10 of them will work and out of which I one mean, will have a 2% in cap. Exactly. It's impact. exactly like our podcast. We try to give you different interesting stories. Most of them don't work. But if we didn't try, what was the point of the podcast? So that's the whole exactly. thing, right, Abbas? I mean, today's show is a failure. Absolutely. As, uh, and, 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 all the shows are failures. This stands out as a really bad failure but we tried they don't try they can't sit there 50 guys uh, with a red flag and say no bullshit we're not participating that's it I mean I don't know what else they want you know every week we read about something and it's just ridiculous 
I mean, uh, it can't be that easy that an 18-year-old kid can walk into a shop and buy assault weapons or you know make 13, one phone call 13. and uh, yeah, I'm a 13-year-old kid in the, in the sting. But I'm saying the the kid, uh, whatever his name was, Carlos, whatever. I mean, he was 18 years old. I mean, how did he how did he get yeah. assault weapons? Yeah, yeah. My wife will come into the frame so they know. <laughs> but 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 if you come in the frame, they know I'm telling the truth. Otherwise, it's like a mad person talking to an imaginary people, <laughs> and I'm overacting all the time, so they don't believe it. Uh, right. My wife came into cool. the room. Uh, yeah. That brings us to the end of the episode. Rajal, don't get married. Uh, no. Because <laughs> you look so but happy you and self-contained. Siren, but you are down, Cyrus. Don't That's judge. Not I'm not the worst man. Trust me, they're worse <laughs> than me. Don't judge. You've met Raju. Come on. Yeah, everybody thinks he's the great one. Uh, I would, Cyrus, I would never we wrap have up, done that. Sorry, sorry, Abbas. You were saying before uh, we wrap up. <clears throat> Uh, Kai, don't forget to download the Jupiter Money app on the Apple Store, the Google Play Store. Uh, we'll leave you with a message from Kajal and Amit about life in the NBA. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Keep, keep dribbling. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Is that your message to the old? <laughs> sure. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have to go, guys. Bye-bye. She's screaming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you. We need you. Send us your questions on Twitter on Cyrus Says In. Or you can email us, even if you're not female, on whatcyrussays at gmail.com. 